Okay, the best way to start an exercise, uh, like a series of exercises like this, is always, always with a good hello world. So in JavaScript, you use the console log function to print anything on the command line. The command line is this that you see here at the bottom. Basically, when it, whatever you say there, it's gonna, whatever you console log, it's gonna show up in the console or in the com command line. Like here, you say it says lala. It's what I what I put here. And this is a very useful tool for developers, for developers, because um, it can give you a trace of the code. Like if if you keep evolving your code over time, uh, if you type something here at the top, not over time. Let's say over the lines of code from top to bottom, right? So if I say here, for example, let hello, uh, or let's say let um, my variable, and then I I put it as hello, and then let's say that. Um, like maybe a dozen lines later or a hundred lines later, I'm scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, and I don't know what the content of the variable, my variable is. I can just console log it like this and it will show me. Look, it will basically show there. It says hello. And let's say that I modified it a lot of times, right? Like I hear I say now my variable, I'm gonna add to my variable. I'm gonna add the letter T space and then whatever it was before that I don't even remember what it, what it was because I'm, I'm super late in my code or or maybe I'm in a in a, in a more advanced part of the code so then I can just again some and it will tell me that it's t hello you know it's it's good and I can actually have it twice you know I can have here at first a first print and then a second print and it will tell me first the first print was this one and the second print was this one another good tool is that you can actually put like a flag here you can say this is the number one and you can also say here this is the number two so when you print it it'll show you like the number one is hello the number two is the hello so it's an amazing tool to track the state of your code as it evolves from line one to line a million you know okay so after saying that, basically, the instructions of this exercise are to use the console log to print hello world on the console. Feel free to write other things as well. So let's let's just test with this. I'm I'm gonna print exactly what they're telling me to print because I wanna I wanna comply with the test. So hello world. The semicolon is something optional now these days in JavaScript, but I still use it because it's there's like a 0.1% possibility that that you the the semicolon will give you a, a problem, so it's not even something you're gonna encounter, I guess, in the near future. You can avoid the semicolons if you want, unless the test the test is uh, obligating you to to use them. But I'll I'll keep using it just for educational purposes. So then when I click test, it's telling me that my code is good. This is an easy one. Let's see how the next things come.